the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, Lace, hot, hot, hot is yes. the story. Big time heat once again today from 100 to 110 will be those feel like temperatures with all the heat and instability. We had big time storms yesterday. We'll have a chance of that again today. Right now, that chance is pretty slim compared to what we were dealing with. Trackers were out. Val and Amy Castor along with Marty Logan as these storms were approaching the border up in Kansas. They were approaching northern Oklahoma. Those storms were rotating. They were supercells moving to the south. Look at the storm growing. You can actually see the motion there in the updraft very electric storms producing large hail and damaging wind as they got to the border they simply vaporized and did not have much rain at all up in woods county harper county those storms fizzled on out let me show you the storm reports because these storms were barreling down from nebraska moving due south yesterday afternoon and evening had a brief tornado the report was on i-70 near bunker bunker hill kansas those storms started to lose their steam and did not make it into northwestern oklahoma now we're still watching thunderstorms up into Nebraska and Kansas. Severe weather over into Iowa. These storms are riding the jet stream and are going to try to make it into northeastern Oklahoma. They are a long way away. The leading edge storms have already fizzled out. So it's still a slight chance we get rain in our viewing area this morning. Next June Live is currently quiet. We've had some light fog in a few locations right now, not really limiting visibility. 20% chance of rain coming up for Ponca City, Stillwater, McAllister. Better chance northeast of Tulsa. And if those storms from Nebraska make it later this morning into the northeast, there's a very low risk they could be severe with quarter size hail and 65 mile per hour winds. Yes, the heat is the big thing. That's the story. We've got heat advisories out in Florida, across Texas, Arkansas, into the deep south, Oklahoma, all the way back to the Pacific Ocean, up into the northern portions of the Rockies. Heat advisories and excessive heat warnings are out right under the heat dome. Today, most of the state, 100, 15 to 110 is what it will feel like. 71 degrees on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network, breaking daylight. We've got 60s, lower mid-70s in most locations. And today, it'll be a south wind. Now, we do have a cold front on the way. I'll tell you when that arrives in just a minute. It's going to bring a change to you across the state of Oklahoma. Long way from making, making its way in today. We're at 87 at noon, 93 for a feel-like temp. By 3 o'clock, 94. Heat index will range from 100 to 105 today. 95 degrees in Enid, 94 in Stillwater, 98 Hobart, 102 in Altus. Still the hottest temps in the state will be in the southwest as far as the air temp. But then you tack on the humidity. Dew point values into the low 70s. Some data suggests we mix out just a little bit, but I think anyway you slice it, it's going to feel like at least 100 degrees today. Thunderstorm chances again this evening. We'll watch for storms that will try to make their way in from Kansas. Right now it looks like a very isolated chance that those hold together. It's a 20% chance. Our rain chances start to taper off tonight, tomorrow, and into Wednesday. Why? Because the heat dome moves overhead. So it's been back to the west some. It actually moves over Oklahoma and strengthens, but it's only for a couple of days. Then we get a weakness on the north side. Storms right in from the Pacific. First one moves in Wednesday into Thursday. Another one Thursday into Friday. And the Thursday one brings a cold front in. Yes, some cooler air moves in from the north. Rain and storm chances come back into the forecast. And we're just adding to the rain gauge across Oklahoma. We will kind of have the, the fringe of the heat dome. We'll be on the outer edge of it into your weekend. Right now, rain chances look less than 20%, but our highs are below average. Lows tonight down into the 70s. We're not below average tonight. And tomorrow is still very hot. 99 in Stillwater, 100 Enid, 100 in OKC, 105 in Altus. Similar conditions Wednesday. Mid upper 90s, triple digits in the northwest, the southwest as well, 106 in Altus. That cold front, it moves in Thursday. As it does, you'll notice your temperatures will start to drop off. So 94 on Monday, today's our high, 100 on Tuesday, 99 on Wednesday, still in the upper 90s Thursday. As the front moves in, a complex of rain and storms possible Friday morning, slight chance of rain on Saturday. And those 80s, it's going to feel better. Even the morning lows do come down about 10 degrees as that storm system moves in.